Dr. Joseph Kanu understands that one way we can honor God is by being as healthy as possible. Dr. Joe believes modern science proves the healing abilities of remedies found in Scripture and, as a practicing chiropractor, blends those biblical truths with cutting-edge technology to enrich his patients' lives physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Welcome to Simple Truths for Healthy Living with Dr. Joseph Kanu. Listen for the next 30 minutes as Dr. Joe shares tips to help you live the healthy life God intends for you. And now your host, Dr. Joe. show simple truths for healthy living where our purpose is to be in the perfect will of god the father the son jesus the holy spirit to be teachers servants and examples of simple truths that enrich and prolong our lives emotionally physically spiritually we need to enrich our lives jeff well i I, you know and I actually think the curveball is appropriate because I don't know if you've been keeping up with our Tigers lately. Wow, but yes, I have. Last night's game, my four-year-old wasn't made me sit down <laughs> and watch. And he wasn't too happy when we were down 5-0 to zero in the first inning. And we came back, and what a game. They won again today. So that's right. Steve, thank you for the curveball. We appreciate yeah. it. And, uh, <laughs> and we're ready now. And we are ready. And you know one great thing about baseball is it's not, it ain't over till it's over. That's true. Say. It's kind of cool of all sports there's no time no i i agree i went to a game and they were down to and uh, it's kind of funny to see all the fans leave give up and then they come back and win it i very rarely leave any sporting event because i have been there's been one time that i remember it was a you know my my alma mater university of michigan and i remember it was us against uh washington and I had to leave because one of my wife's friends was getting married. I wasn't happy about it. I, you know, I bit my tongue like a like a good husband should, and I left. And I missed one of the greatest comebacks, and I'm not happy about it. So to this day, I stay till the end. And, and I've seen some amazing last minute uh, wins. Comebacks. and you know, it's it's always it's always worth it. You know. Sure. So Jeff, what is on the topic? tonight well you know i actually thought that i would embrace your holistic views in well just in in life and but i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of put the dentistry little uh spin on it because i have been What's hearing that? well I, you know there was a article pretty recently about um crest toothpaste and how okay. there's actually some um Pieces of plastic, essentially. I mean, it's literally, you know, it's uh, polyethylene that's in the, really wow. the majority of these toothpaste, and it's one of the most common plastics used in the world. And it made me start thinking, all right, first of all, why are these things in our food and our toothpaste and our soaps, all these things? Is there a reason? I mean, if there's a reason, I want to hear it. And if the benefits outweigh the 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 cons then i'm gonna listen right sure um, but i started doing a little bit more so research open minded very open minded you know mm-hmm. um in fact you know we're gonna talk about toothpaste tonight and people are thinking oh no i don't think we've ever talked toothpaste so this will be the first well you know i feel like we did a while ago but i feel like it got into a yelling match are you yelling yeah. at me about fluoride <laughs> i think you know so i don't want to go down that road at all i like um, to yell you do you do after, so. <laughs> <laughs> you like to vent uh no you know to be honest i think it's yeah. interesting because i don't even i mean fluoride we can talk about fluoride a little bit here and there and we we, we all have our opinions about it but i think it's more about some of these other additives that i found that i don't see the point um i'm a dentist really? and so i'm a dental provider i don't it. see the reason because i mean i personally use a couple toothpaste that don't have these things mm-hmm. um i didn't realize they didn't have these things but i'm happy right. that I, I do and this is what i recommend to my patients so i feel like we're gonna just educate and we're gonna we're gonna meet in the middle here as far as uh, uh embracing this holistic approach and uh okay. you're you're i'm gonna stay open-minded and i'm gonna let you educate me as much as i'm gonna hopefully educate you is that, okay. is that a deal? That's fair. All right. That's fair enough. So, How's that for a teaser? Hey, so, so Jeff, we're going to read Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. 
because uh, I, I think we'll read this. Chapter 5, verse 15. Now, by the way, you're listening to Dr. Jeff Haddad of Rochester Advanced Dentistry. And uh, if anybody would like to call the station, 313-838-1035. Steve will put you through. Now, Steve, you got to let us know. I don't have the screen up, so... Let us know if there's any callers, okay? Yeah, that's all great. All right, thank you. So, Ephesians 5, 15. So, be careful how you live. How about that? And how what toothpaste you use. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is my version of, of the Scripture. I, I like it. So, be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but be like those who are wise. And make the most out of every opportunity. And don't act thoughtlessly. But understand what the Lord wants you to do. And uh, don't spend your days being drunk. It'll ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves and making music to the Lord with your heart. And give thanks for everything, God the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, amen to that. Don't live like fools. So, Lord, we ask that we can gain more understanding and wisdom and that your Holy Spirit would guide Jeff, not only at this show, but in his practice and gift his, continue to gift his hands as he works on all his patients and on his entire household. We ask for blessings upon the entire city of Detroit and especially upon all of the listeners. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. And remember, you can call in. This is a good opportunity to call in. You're listening to Dr. Jeff Haddad live. Call the station, 313-838-1035. So, Jeff, let's hear it. Well, let's talk about, first of all, what Dr. Joe, you, you, my listeners really can't appreciate what I'm looking at, but this concoction that you made me here. Has all kinds of bits of goodness in it, right? It's, yeah, we have plastic. We put <laughs> ground up plastic. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you. I, I think there's 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 more herbs and 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 lemon, you know, well, pieces. Well, what and, this is, you know, we had a health seminar yesterday. I gave that to the people who came to our health class, and that's basically our summertime. You've heard of the swamp water concoction? Yes. Where we, we heat up uh, and just steep, gently heat up uh, parsley and celery seed and dandelion root. That has a little bit of that. But mm-hmm. we've added in the summer our cucumber drink. You know, I, I just throw in the blender. A, a, oh, it's a Cucumber, amazing. lemon. You want the white, the rind. There's mm-hmm. a lot of the rind in there. Because yeah. That has a lot of the limonene, which kills bacteria. The coconut. There's rosemary in there, and and uh, it's taste and it really hydrates you. Well, it's appropriate because I am going to need some toothpaste after this yeah. to get these out, <laughs> get all these particles out of my teeth. But I guarantee uh, <laughs> you, there is no plastic. Well, let's in talk there. about that. So, um, and this really disturbed me a lot. But this is Crest toothpaste, just so you know, um, and this is a fact. It has. Um, polyethylene in it, which, like I said, is one of the most common plastics in the world. It's used in containers, packaging, bottles, plastic grocery bags, um, and it's not biodegradable. It literally Ugh. will only break down into smaller and smaller particles. You, you can't you can't break it down in alcohol. You can't break it down in acetone. I mean, it's pretty amazing that that is well, in our. Essentially, our I mean, our oh, toothpaste, our soaps, and really things like that. Sad. It really is. And we so, need to be wise. I mean, just like that scripture was saying, we need we can't go through life with blinders on and assume that big business and big food ink is going to throw and big pharmaceutical is going to make healthy products for us. Right. It's almost we're being duped here. Why why do they have the plastic particles? Well, you know that's a great well, question. What is the per- why are they putting it in there? So, if you if if those of you who can, you know, visualize I and mean, we're on radio here, but I'm kind of thinking of like the crest um oh, what's the name of that? I've seen it before, but you think about the I'm not talking about like the the um original old school crest that's just the um, you know, light blue color. I'm talking about the kind of that gel and gelatin with all the little blue specks. It looks real pretty and you know exciting Sparkly. and very very glitzy, m- glitzy, very good. <laughs> bedazzled, if you will. Um, literally, those little right. piece, those little blue specks are the specks of of this polyethylene. 
and which is basically petroleum products, right? Right. right. And, so and again, and, we're getting petrochemicals. And now you ask, why is it in there? Now you would think, okay, maybe it's going to help, you know, add to the cleaning. You almost think, all right, well, maybe there's a little uh, grit there, so it's going right. to really help. Or, no, the only reason it's in there is to make it look good. It's literally is for, that what the company says? That's what it's. That's exactly. That's ex- exactly the response. It's for decorative that. purposes only. In fact, it says that the the only reason that it's in there is for, um, well, again, just for for for. A visual to to make it look, and again, you know, it's just like anything. I mean, life, the world we live in, it's about marketing, right? Sure. Um, and we're gonna get into the the, the next little chemical, um, which you know is maybe some of you have heard of it, sodium lauryl sulfate. Again, why is this in all our products? But you know, you think about this, and you've got these little pieces of plastic. Okay, so they do not degrade. They're being broken down. That's all they do. Mm. And the interesting thing is this uh, it's like article. Plastic water bottle containers in our landfills, right? They don't right. break down. It's right. Like a thousand year before it breaks. In. Yeah. So you're telling me that even the the acid in your mouth, the saliva, is right. not breaking down this plastic. It just it's bre- going. It just they break down into smaller pieces. Nothing's going to dissolve them. And so you think about for for those of you who well, have, must be swallowing some of it too. Then right? Oh, when it's oh, getting in your system. Absolutely. I mean, well, and oh, well, I mean, let's say let's say hypothetically you weren't okay. Even though we know that no matter what you do, you're going to swallow something. Um, we've talked about what happens around a tooth. Okay, so you've got um, this cuff of gum tissue. You know, there's a ligament around a tooth. And you've got gum tissue. And, you know, you've been to the dentist before, uh, Dr. Joe, and they've, they've called out those numbers when they're oh, going, right. they're doing the measurements around the gums. Well, that's called the sulcus around your tooth. And that is the, the, the periodontal or gum sulcus. That is a, a, a spot that bacteria can get caught in and cause, you know, periodontal disease, mm. gum disease, things that we've talked about in the past, which sure. we probably cu- touch on tonight. Um, but think about having these little pieces of plastic a little flat that are just getting jammed in there. And, and it's got to be kind of sharp well, in a way, right? And, and, sharp edges. And, and, and think about the inflammatory response. Mm. that cause. Now, I, I'll tell you, this was eye-opening to me because I have actually unknowingly, I've had patients come in and they've had inflammation. And I know they're taking great care of their teeth. They're like, yeah, you know, I, I almost feel like my gums are burning and this and then They're kind of telling me all these symptoms. And I said, you know, what I was always taught was – some of these new additives, and again, I was being very uh, generalized in my, my thinking, not thinking it was harmful, but more like, you know what, maybe you're, you're sensitive to some of these, these additives that are really necessary in the toothpaste, but right. you know, maybe you can handle them. Here's what I'd recommend. Go back to just the old school Crest. I mean, Crest is really one of the original toothpaste. It didn't have anything bad in it. You know, back then, it was, it was actually all good stuff. It was all healthy, and I said, go back to that. Every person I've told that to, it seems to kind of resolve. And wow. I'm like, all right, great. So, so that was a flag for you. But it wasn't a flag then. Now it's a flag. I mean, I've been telling people that for years, just thinking, almost blaming the person, like saying, you know what, you just must be sensitive and, and uh, you know, there must be, um, you know, almost not, not something wrong with you. But you know what I mean? I mean, the masses are not seeing this or maybe I'm not or maybe they're not identifying it. But sure. now when you hear things like this that – there are literally these particles and additives that have nothing to do with even the cleaning purpose of a toothpaste or even like the soaps in our in, in our world. What are they there for? I don't get it. I mean, mm. they're there for to make them look pretty, to be appealing. They're for marketing purposes only, and yet they're also potentially causing harm. I mean. They're not causing any good, in my no. opinion, but they definitely could be causing some harm. And so let's just segue, and we'll come back to this because I know it's so going to be. This is almost like soaps and creams that people put on that are sparkly, right? The glitter. You got it. So it's really a petrol, a toxic petrol chem. I mean, I mean, I mean, when I say toxic, if you get a little bit, not a huge deal, but of course, when you're getting a lot of it, right, it starts to coat our cells, our our cells, and that's really why the essential oils are so good for us to u- use at this day and age, because the essential oils help to clean mm-hmm. and dissolve the petrochemicals. Yeah, from plastic water bottles, from 
everything is in plastic now, right? We're, we're exposed to a lot of plastic. Well, what's interesting you say that, and, and it's been having more and more. Oh. We talked about this maybe a month ago, um, but the these oil – which you really got me, you know, believing in. Right. We are right. now, you know, giving that to our patients in our office, and people are loving, it. and people are asking for it, which is really cool. Well, that's I mean, that is neat. What they're asking. Well, I think the it's, next visit they come back. Yeah, they, and they, they I think it. they're becoming. I mean, some of these things are becoming more mainstream, which is a great thing. Um, you know, the the you know, you talk about these these soap products and all this. One of these uh, additives in toothpaste and soaps is what's called sodium laurel sulfate. And right. it is, uh, I mean, literally, it's so all... So, Jeff, what, what is the benefit of it? The only I benefit mean, is is it actually has a, for lack of a better word, like a foaming property. Now, that foaming property is not necessary for a toothpaste to work. It's almost just making it appear like it's working better or working harder. Right. And I think a lot of... Again, back so in marketing, it's not dull like using just baking soda. And exactly, it, it gives it a little. Oil or it kind of makes it a little sexier. You yeah, know what I mean? Right, and and right. you think about the the uh, commercials that you watch, and they they got the little bubbles and the you know the teeth right. are foaming up, and you know there's little cartoon things dancing around teeth. I mean that's what society has gotten used to, but it doesn't serve any so purpose in making. Nec- it so it's not improved cleaning. Power. Not at all. In fact, wow. In fact, not only that. But what it can do and what it, it what it's been proven to do in a lot of things as far as you know the American College of Toxi- Toxicity and a lot of other journals are showing is that it could be corrosive and harmful to tissue, skin tissue, gum tissue, things like that, and more importantly, long term effects, potential of of you know the eye, brain, heart, liver. I mean, these are things because it's that, accumulating you in our it. tissue, right? You so got it. That, that accumulates, and, and even from our gums, we're right. absorbing it into our system. Yeah, and and Not when cool. when well, and you think about this, and you know, you and I have talked about this, and you know, there's a lot of toothpaste out there, and you know, in fact, I feel like there was one time where we talked about, it and I said, you know, boy, that sodium lauryl sulfite. I mean, it's in a lot of shampoos too, right? And soap, right? We're, correct. We're getting a lot of this, and if you shower every day, wash your hair. You're getting it every a good dose every day. No question. That's really one you want to stay away from. Yeah, I mean, I actually would like to keep my hair. You know, yeah. I don't. I don't really yeah, want it to falling cut. out at this point. Okay? <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I mean, eye irritation. You know, uh, plus when it mixes too with the chlorine in the water, now you're getting more of a synergistic, right? Acidic, and it makes our system acidic. Yep. And you, as we know, cal- uh, cancer thrives in an acid. Low oxygen, right. low electrical, right. you know, our resonance, our cellular megahertz of the cells drop from eating a lot of dead food. You yeah. Know, you become very acidic. That drink you're drinking, very alkalizing. I'm, I'm Le- feeling alkalized right now. Can you right believe now. lemon? Wouldn't you think lemon would make you acidic? And it's That's so funny. I just had this conversation with um, a patient of mine. And I was able to – you, you've already taught me this, which is great. You'd think a lemon, which is an acid, would make your body be – Acidic. Acidic, right? And it's a complete opposite. It's an amazing thing. And I – Right. You know, again, I'm, I'm listening. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm passing on your wisdom, which is great. Yeah. Um, no, you know, it's – this is something that – um, you know, you asked me, I don't know, I said it was a couple of years ago about toothpaste. Is there any toothpaste you really recommend? I'm like, no, you know what? They're pretty much all the same. They do the job. Um, you know, I'm a big believer of having topical fluoride in it. You know, you, you, you and I have talked about, um, the Pro- difference between topical versus ingesting it. Okay. Right, right. Um, obviously there's been many proven, um, uh, benefits to topical fluoride um the debate's still out on you know ingesting it it's really not necessary you know we, we've talked about the fact right. that you get well, enough fluoride in, in, in water Come no on. i agree you get enough You're fluoride drinking in it your, just for your teeth right. why would you want to take it in your whole system i agree i Plus agree the type of fluoride in the that they're dumping in the water is not good fluoride that like you were you had a, in fact if you want to listen to a great show that is a fluoride show you can go yeah. to our website simple truths for healthy living or dr jeff's rochester advanced dentistry and the shows are there as well correct right? and the fluoride show that was very good what how you brought up a lot of foods have fluoride yep. so we don't need it in our water if you're you know no i agree and you know it I mean fluoride is going to make your teeth stronger but overdoing it 
you can you can get fluorosis. Who knows about any of the right. other har- harmful effects on the overall body? And right. to be honest, you know, and I said at the beginning of this show, it's up to you. You want to use fluoride? You don't. That's okay. I'll tell you what I use as far as toothpaste goes. And you know, this will kind of give us our little list of the sodium lauryl sulfate free toothpaste. I'm a big fan of Tom's of Maine. I mean, I know are you, you are too. Yeah. That's what I use at home. Um, it's hard to argue with it. It's one of the um, main uh, or most popular, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll call it, you right. know holistic type uh, sure. toothpaste. Mm-hmm. A couple other ones that people may not be aware of is uh, you know Burst Bees. You're familiar with the company? Great company. Yeah, they, they make, make a lot of great stuff. They do. They make actually four different varieties of natural toothpaste as well. All so, uh, um, sodium laurel flu, uh, sulfate. sulfate free, which is great. Um, one other one I wasn't familiar with, kind of a goofy name, but Poofy Organics Happy <laughs> Happy Teeth Toothpaste. Okay. I don't know if that's kids' toothpaste or not. And then the other poofy. one is Dr. Collins Natural <laughs> Toothpaste and Earth Paste. You know, right. and you can get all of these with or without fluoride. So you have the choice, which is cool too. I mean, Tom's. Has them has with and without fluoride, and I think fluoride, and I think again, it's a personal choice. You know, that's up to you. But when it comes to some of these things, like you know, the sodium lauryl uh, sulfate and the polyethylene, I mean, I don't think there is a choice there. I mean, if you're gonna, right. why, why mess well, it's around amazing, with that? Amazing, like you said, there's not a lot of benefit to it. No, that there. I mean, literally, the the polyethylene is is flat out there. To make it look sparkly, right. to make it look decorative. I mean, come on. That's amazing. Do you really care if it's no. going in your mouth? I mean, I, right. I, I just want to. It's a do it's do a, good. It, for me. It, well, here's the thing. Will your child brush more because there's plastic fleck no. in their toothpaste? Come on. No, they're not. You know, they, they don't need like you said the bazaz and the glitz. Right, bazaz. That's a good yes. word. How about you that may, one? You may <laughs> coin that term. Bazaz. I like it. All right, we'll put that on your well, website. Of course, you know the triclosan. Mm-hmm. I have a real problem. You know, that's what's in the antibacterial hand soap. Right. Like the antibacterial gel you put on your hands. Now, didn't they pull that after a while, or is that that's still, still, still out there? still on the market, as really? far as I, I haven't heard that they pulled it. I know I, for I a while they, they were taking out, taking a bunch of antibacterial. I thought it was because of that, but, you know, it's... it's. I don't think so. Well, you I know. think it's still in there. And then the bacteria... Here's the thing. It's a false sense of security, because it takes like two hours or more for it to kill the bacteria, it doesn't kill all the bacteria, and then the bacteria is becoming immune to it. Right. Unlike when you use grapefruit seed extract. Yeah. You know, or, or any of the natural cloves and cinnamon, the essential oils, again, kills the bacteria, and the bacteria doesn't develop an immunity to it. Right. And it doesn't kill our good. You know how you have good bacteria on your skin? Right. Right? Or in your colon and in your mouth. And, and those, like the clove, like the thieves oil, does not harm the good bacteria. Right. So that's something. It's like we were made for that. No, and it makes a lot of sense. And it's funny. <clears throat> excuse me. I didn't think we'd get to it tonight. Um, and this may segue into maybe a, a, a future show. But, um, you know, you talk about the immune system and, and, you know, and, and, you know, bacteria, good bacteria. It's all about being in equilibrium. And um, I came across a, 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 a research article here, too. That was really interesting, and we you know we've talked about periodontal disease, and since we're talking about toothpaste and keeping things healthy, I mean, let's just talk about gum disease, you know, like we talked about in the past. They actually are finding that gum disease, the response of, or well, the bacteria that is one of the key bacteria in periodontal disease, um, is actually identified. We'll call it a, a keystone pathogen in. A lot of other diseases in the body. Now, we've talked about heart disease. We've talked about some other things. Here's some things that I thought was amazing. Scientists are actually believe, beginning to suspect that these keystone pathogens are actually playing a role in irritable bowel disease, wow. colon cancer. You mentioned the colon mm-hmm. and other inflammatory disease. So pretty much the, the bacteria is causing the immune system – um, to respond poorly, and in, and in turn, is actually disarming it. I mean, selectively, though, it's, it's, it's interesting because these, I mean, this bacteria, like you said, it gets smart. It, you get resistant to it. It, it finds ways to, um, to adapt to an environment, especially when you're, you're overdoing certain things and, and the, the good bacteria is, 
diminished and the bad bacteria are able to flourish. Mm. And so you have things like this. And periodontal disease, you know, people think, oh, it's my mouth. Who cares? You know, my teeth right. fall out. Big deal. It is a big deal. I mean, I don't understand. And again, this doesn't come from, from a dentist. This is just common sense. You know, if you had an infection in your leg, I know you'd be concerned. You'd be worried about it getting into the bloodstream, getting to the rest of the body. Right. Okay. Right. Your mouth is an open vessel for not only disease but bacteria. And by the way, oh, it's connected to you. And everything that starts right. there, everything goes that goes about in. you got it. And so yeah. I think that a lot of people really believe that losing a tooth or having gum disease or having bleeding gums is a normal thing. I mean, if you're mm. let's talk about hair. We talk about hair. If you were combing your hair at night and it was bleeding, would that make you a little worried? Yeah. Yeah. That would make you really worried. Well, when you floss, are your gums bleeding? Yeah. If they are, you that's a problem. You seem to be not so concerned when your mouth is bleeding, like it's right. more of a normal. Well, uh, let's let's just let's deal. let's just. Uh, I guess because there's no pain involved either, right? Right. The silent killer. We yeah. talked about it. Periodontal disease, the silent killer. And I mean, bottom line is this. Let's leave our, our our listeners with this. If you are brushing and flossing, and your gums are bleeding, there is disease present. Unless you're, you know. Really flossing, flossing with you know fishing line and brushing with an SOS pad, they should not be bleeding. Healthy gums do not bleed. If they are, it is time to get to your dentist because you may have the beginnings or even uh, the full-on gum disease state where bad things are going to happen. And you know, I, I think maybe we we may have to cover that in, in more depth in in the in some future shows here. Sure. But just to get people on board of what's healthy and what's not, we really really need to uh, pay attention to that. Yes. Well, Jeff, I was hoping to argue with you more on this show about <laughs> toothpaste, but you brought up some great points and alarming points that these toxins in our toothpaste are not benefiting us either, whereas there's the pros and cons. It might be a little toxic, but it helps this. Right. I'm just shocked that it well, isn't. And I, you brought up some I'm trying great, to stay on – I want to be on your man. side, Dr. Joe. <laughs> you know, I there's a, a, no conflict here. Yes. You know, we want to just go through life happy and, and right. you know uh, – Arms around each other and being on the same team, which we are. Hey, if you want to see a progressive dentist who's on board with the essential oils in a more natural way and is more open-minded and listens to his patients, make an appointment to see Dr. Jeff Haddad at Rochester Advanced Dentistry. And that name is a true name. They are truly the most advanced dentist dental office I know of. Thank you very and, much. And uh, I'm really impressed with what you do, and thank you for all that. Thank so you. if you want to call Jeff, 248-656-2020, let him know Dr. Joe sent you, and maybe Jeff will give me a free bottle of Crest or something <laughs> with plastic fleck in it. Extra plastic <laughs> just for you. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff, and I will be back next week. We will. Right? Looking forward By to it. By God's grace, have a beautiful night. Remember, in all that you do, eat or drink, do all things or what toothpaste you use. Do all things to the glory of God. See you next time. Do you suffer from headaches, migraines, or jaw pain? Have you been diagnosed with TMJ problems? Dr. Doolin and Dr. Haddad at Rochester Advanced Dentistry have helped alleviate these symptoms successfully for hundreds of people just like you. Dr. Doolin and Dr. Haddad have advanced training in the latest techniques in headache and TMJ treatment. Their success and conservative approach in treating pain patients for over 10 years has prompted referrals from many physicians in the area. Don't suffer any longer. For more information, visit RochesterAdvancedDentistry.com or call Rochester Advanced Dentistry at 248-656-2020. That's 248-656-2020. Join Pamela Visser and Teresa Lopez Thursday, September 4th from 1 to 7 p.m. for a complimentary 15-minute Biomat session and a before and after look at your live blood cell sample. This informative and insightful session will take place at Dr. Joe Kanu's office located at 900 North Main in downtown Rochester. Appointments are first come, first served, so to reserve your place, call Pamela at 248-931-2710. That's 248-931-2710. For more information, go to BiomatBenefits.com. That's BiomatBenefits.com. Last year, Life Remodeled, a nonprofit organization based here in Michigan, built homes in Metro Detroit and beautified 48 city blocks. 
They also provided families with financial, family, and spiritual counseling, all with volunteers. This summer, they're once again focusing on the city of Detroit. They're remodeling Cody High School and beautifying, get this, 60 city blocks. So save the dates, August 11th through the 17th. Everyone can help, whether you're skilled as a tradesman, hospitality, cleanup, or a prayer warrior. For more information, go to liferemodel.com. That's liferemodel.com. You've been listening to Simple Truths for Healthy Living with Dr. Joseph Kanu. If you'd like to talk with Dr. Joe, call 248-656-1011. That's 248-656-1011. And tune in again Monday through Friday from 1030 to 11 for another edition of Simple Truths for Healthy Living with Dr. Joseph Kanu. The content on this program is for sharing general information purposes only. It is subject to change with ongoing research. It is not meant to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure anything. Dr. Kanu encourages you to make your own healthcare decisions based upon your own research and in partnership with a qualified healthcare professional of your choice.